With the column widget you can display many widgets under each other or vertically aligned. And if you search for another option to align your widgets horizontally, then you can also do it with the row widget. But we will talk in this video about the column widget. Let's get started here in our body property. And here we create a column. And a column every time has multiple widgets inside. And therefore we used here a list. And inside of the list you can display here many widgets, comma separated. So every time you have here one widget and a comma and another one and so on. And you can place here as many widgets inside as you want. And we want to replace right now these with real widgets. So I put here for example a text widget inside. And for the second one I put another text widget inside. And for the third we put again another one inside. Now you see that we have all the widgets under each other displayed, the first, second and third one. And by default the column takes the full height which it can get. And here you see that all the widgets are displayed here at the beginning of our column. Inside of the column we can use an alignment and therefore we use the main axis alignment which is the alignment here on the vertical axis. And there we can set for example the main axis alignment to space between. And if we hot reload it, you see that we have every time between our widgets the maximum space. And it's equally distributed between the widgets. Let's also create another column. So I simply copy and paste it here inside. And we have again here this retext. And this time we use a main axis alignment of center. And now if I put it here inside, you see that all the elements which we have placed here inside of our children property are centered inside of the middle here. Let's create also another column to show the next main axis alignment. So we also can put here main axis alignment of start inside. And this was the default value. So all of them are here at the start. Let's create another example. So here in our column we also can set the main axis alignment to space around. And now we have here every time between our widgets some space and also to the bottom side and also to the upside we have here also some space with space around. And lastly we can also create here a column with a main axis alignment of main axis alignment space evenly. And then it is pretty similar to the one before. However, here the space is evenly distributed. So we have here every time exactly the same space between all the items and also the bottom and top have the same spacing. Now you might to want also to have your individual spacing. So you can create also a column and here inside we have three text fields. And if I now hot reload, you see that we have here these three texts under each other. And now you can simply create here a sized box and put it to a specific height with some pixels. So we have here 24 pixels between the first and second element. And you also can create here, for example, some height between the second and third element. So we have here set it to 80 pixels. And now we have here 80 pixels between these both elements. Let's also look at the other alignment. So next to the main axis alignment, we also have the cross axis alignment. And I will simply create here some colored container therefore. So we have here this red container and we also create here another container with a bigger size and also another container with a bigger size. And now we have here these three colored containers. And here inside of this column we can then use the cross axis alignment and this is the alignment on the horizontal level and we can set it for example to start and hot reload it and then you see that all the elements are aligned here to the left side. Let's create also another column and this time we use here a cross axis alignment of center and then this is the default value. So we have here everything centered inside of the middle and like you can see, the largest widget is here the reference example and around it, it everything is centered. Let's also create another example with the cross axis alignment and we can also set it to cross axis alignment of end. And then it is exactly the opposite as in the start. We place all the widgets here at the end on the horizontal axis. 
And by the way, if you want to try out all of these examples, you can get the source code with the first link in the description. And you can also get my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a more efficient Flutter developer with the second link in the description box. Let's now look at some special thing about the column. And then we put here container inside and I put it here to some size. It looks like this. And now we simply take another container only with a different color and place it below. And now we do the same thing. We take again another container and place it here below. And every container has the same height. And like you can see, if we reach here the bottom, then we get here this arrow. And this means that he doesn't have more space because he wants to align everything here within our screen size and we try now to place here exactly the same size below and this is not working. However, what you can do is you can put here the last container inside of an expanded widget and this will then put the container to the right size which is available and he will then only have this size, this container. So this is a quick tip. If you have layout issues with a column, then you can easily put it into an expanded and then it takes here the remaining space. Let's also have here a look at another example. So I create here a new column and we have here exactly the same column like before with all the containers. And this time we can use here the cross axis alignment and set it for example to the cross axis alignment of stretch. And this means that it will stretch on the horizontal level and it will take every space it can get. And because of this, we also put here a container around our column and reduce it to the size of 300 pixels. And now we have here the containers and they are stretching 300 pixels in our width. And you can also modify it here. So you can set it, for example, to 500 pixels and then our container stretch here by 500 pixels. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.